Welcome back to You Can Do It. This is part another one of the mini series with the refresh. So today we're going to take out the pistons. Um, I've done a video about taking the sump off and the oil pump. So now we're going to take the pistons out. Okay, so let's get straight to the chase. This is an N14 engine with these horrible plastic coated oil control rings. This is why it burns loads and loads of oil and causes loads of problems with a positive crankcase pressure and everything stems from these okay so straight to the point i've got the light on there so stick with me so we're under here now look we take the oil pump off i've left that chain on there because i want to put the old cam chain spro uh, sprocket and everything back on because i need to turn the engine over yeah because at the moment she's locked in the middle position for taking the the head off and everything so now we've got these these are at 10 mil they're not done very tight so we'll take these off and this is a plate here that comes down here okay See, you've got these like little flutes here and everything. Okay. I put the bolt back in with the cam shaft sprocket, but without the chain, obviously. So if you look, you look down there, look, you can see there's the oil pump chain. And then next to it is the cam chain sprocket, but without the chain on it. So that's just, so that allows me to be able to turn the engine over. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take the locking pin out from, from the flywheel. Take that locking pin out and then I can turn the engine over and get to the con rod. Begin. Okay, that's out. Okay, so now I should be able to turn this. Yeah, there, look at that lovely. So if I turn these, so I've got the two, there we are. Right. But why, before I do that, I'm gonna get my compressor sparked up, get some pressure in there, and I'm gonna blow out, up, blow out all that and clean, clean out what I can. Right, I don't know if you can see there, but I've got a dot punch. I've put a dot punch in there, and I've put three, and then I've put two on there, because that's number three. Well, in my order, it's gonna be, that's going to be three, that's two. This is number one nearest the cam chain, and number four is nearest the clutch. So I mark, put a mark closest to the front of the engine, so I now know that that's the way that piston goes back in. Okay, so now what I'm going to do... Let's get myself a torque a bit and undo these two here, okay? All right, I pulled the cap off there. So what you do is just, just put a bolt in, just put a bolt in there loosely, just twist it and then the cap comes off, look. Right, so for now, I'll just turn this again. I'll push that back up, look. I don't know, I need, need like a little uh, vacuum plunger to pull them up. Or right, I'm gonna just try and push those up from underneath with them. Um, Find something to push that up. Not, don't use something metal, just use something plastic or wooden just to push those up from underneath. So I'll do that. All now. right, look, I'll push that one out. And then you can see my markings there. There's two little points there, just by my thumb here. Dot punches there. Now they're always at the front. And so the piston goes like that. And it's really important. Now these can only go one way with these con rods. So if you, the caps, you must get them the right way around, otherwise it won't go together properly. Okay, so that's that one done there. So let's just get that on the bench a second. Now you can see the problem. BMW in their wisdom forced PSA to use these bottom rings, which look like they're not a three ring, it's a one solid ring that's sort of plastic coated. I'm going to take all the rest of them out. All right, so I've got all four of them out now. No, I'm just cleaning them up. I'll clean this one up, look. So there's no point, I mean, this is, there's no point cleaning that, that bit up. Um, I'll just clean that there, look. And the top, it's got an arrow that tells you that that goes towards the timing chain. And then you've obviously got the numbers which you've put on the bottom, and each one of those can only fit one thing, so you can't get it wrong. Okay, so I've done that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just finish up and clean up the rest of them. And these are your rings. I want to do a separate video on just, just about these rings because this is a bloody nightmare. These standard rings, normal, no problem. This one, absolute nightmare. Look, this is the, uh, this is BMW in their wisdom. But look at that, look. You see, they're actually, uh, the ring themselves, look, there, you see, you see the light through it there. They're actually split. They've got like, lots of little slots in it. It's made out of plastic. And look, it's got like a spring, like, you know, Oil seal spring there, look. Look at that. So it's actually holding it together like that. Joke. I mean, honestly, BMW, off, they are just such Mickey Mouse outfits now. 
I mean, they used to build proper engines and cars and, well, they started off with being aer aero engines. I mean, this, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be in an aeroplane. This sort of stuff, this sort of technology. It's just crap. Anyway, so we're going to clean all these up and then we will look to be putting the new the new rings rings in it. Um, putting some, I need to wait for some lube, engine rebuild lube, put those in. And then after I've done that, uh, we can look at honing the bores. Right. So this is where we come to the section where we start putting some proper rings on. So the, I'm using Marley. There's lots of other different manufacturers of rings, but I'm, I'm using the Marley rings. Okay, now I'm part of, I'm do, we're doing the, the mini refresh. So what the refresh is all about is refreshing the engine and putting it all back to new. But the main reason to do all that is because you need to change these rings. And if you've got your engine completely apart to change your piston rings, you might as well do everything else. So obviously in this series, we've done a, a hone, We've got all nice fresh bores, but now we're going to put the rings on here, uh, and we're actually going to put some new, new uh, comrod bearings on here because these were a bit worn. So look, we put new put new bearings onto that, and then we'll install these into the engine. Okay, now I've just found out. Sorry, I gave you the wrong one. None. This this is the right number here. Look, which is the seventy sevens. So I'm pretty pretty upset actually because I've just realised that this, whoever supplied these to me look has sent me. These are diameter 84s, these aren't even the right rings. Nice, I've got to go get some more rings. Okay, anyway, let's get this box open and we'll see how we get on. Right, so the, these Marley rings are the, are, the, are the proper sort of rings. So you've got two oil control rings, top and bottom, and then a spring in the middle. So you've actually got a combination of three rings for the oil. You've got your standard middle ring, standard top ring. So let me put these on the piston now. Right, so let me pack it out. We'll start with the A this one and this one. So look, when you take them out of the packet on these particularly, it looks like you've got one ring, because they're, they're on top of each other like that. And you think you've only got one ring, but it's actually two. So you split those, look, you've got two very fine things. Now there isn't a top and bottom for these, so it doesn't matter which way around you go. So we're gonna put one of those on there right at the bottom. Now, what we're gonna do with this is we are going to put a little bit of oil on here, run some oil around there, just to uh, make sure that's that's okay for the first startup. So let me go and do, let me go and do that. In fact, First of all, I'm just going to go and, it's been a bit windy out here, so I'm just going to go and uh, get my air compressor and blow out there, make sure I've got nothing in there at all, and I'll run so some that's water. That's been blown out with the uh, compressor. So now what I'm going to do, I've got a load of, uh, this isn't finish. <laughs> it's cleaned out and it's got um, engine oil in it. So I'm just going to run a little bit around there. I'll go around that ring, go around the, uh, go around that gap. I'm going to run that around there, and I'll put the first ring on. Okay, we put the the, the, the first ring on, it's the, the, corrugated, the corrugated type ring. You put that on and then you put the, the, the first oil ring underneath and the second ring obviously on the top. But because that, the corrugated one has got some little ridges at the back which sort of push the springs forward. So let me put the second one on there. All right, so I've got both of those on there, look. I've got a join on that side at the top and a join at that side on the bottom. The theory of that is obviously when you when the engine's running that the sort of force is on the piston is this way and this way so you're less likely to sort of get marks onto your bores if you put the joints on the on the sides the next ring we can put on whatever whatever the top is there that's see the so the top is on the other side so we now put the next the, the second ring we'll put the gap here on this side and then on the final one we'll put it on the other side middle ring is B, oh, see that's the middle ring. Now you need to check here now to see if uh, they've got a top. They'll usually say top, yeah, look, that side there says top. Yeah, it says top there, look. So that goes Last to the top. Last but not least, so that's on there now, with the gap. Oh, we've done the gap on that side. Oh, I'm not doing this anymore, so it's too windy. All right, they disappeared, they, that gap is there and i'll do the next gap on the other side all right so that's this is a top ring look and that says top there do you see it top just there top so that's got to be on the top okay so we'll stick that on there now all right that's it we've got the rings in there look you can see that so you've got the middle second ring is there on that side so top ring is gap is on that side you've got the next oil for top oil ring is on that side and the bottom one is on that side, so that's good to go. So that's good to be put in the in the 
in the engine. So we're putting new bearings in as well. Okay. So we're gonna put, I'll put some uh, assembly lube on there now, and then I'll put that piston in. All right, I'm gonna show you here. I've got three of them in now. I wanna just show you how I, how I put the pistons in. So basically, I turn the crank, so that's down the bottom. I've got an air gut, uh, air line. Let's make sure it's all nice and clean down there. There's your piston. That's really important, which you should have done when you took them off, but it's really, really important that you mark the front side, this side of the, because you can't put this on the other way around. If you put it on the other way around, you, you, you won't, you'll have a, well, that's it, you, you just won't work. You'll end up with a knocking back because they won't fit together properly. So it's got to be this way around. So you've marked, I've marked that. Um, yeah, you can see my three marks there. So I know always that those three marks, any marks go to the front of the piston. So I mean, I don't know which to be, sometimes I hear it's from this side, that's about, I always do one nearest the cam, sh uh, cam chain, one, two, three, four, right? It doesn't really matter, it's just for reference purposes. So this is three, that's three. Um, I've put new bearing shells in it anyway, so it doesn't matter. But you've got three there, so that's always at the front. So when we put that piston down, you know that that one there goes to the front of the engine here. Okay, so now we've got the rings on and everything. Now we're going to coat those up with a load more oil. And we're going to put it in here and clamp it up, all right? Now, before I do that though, I'm going to split these obviously, and then I'm going to put so I'm putting a bit of that on, yeah. So I'm going to put that up there like that, put my lube in there like that, and split that, and then that's already there. I'm going to grease all that up with a load, so I'll put a load more oil around that with those rings, and then make sure they're set right. So you want to be this is going up and down like that, you want the, the gap of the rings to be there, so, so basically they're there and there. I mean, you can stagger them 180, but they should always be. So, so basically when you first start up you don't want like because the forces is between here and here you don't want that to the edge of the, the ring to to make a gouge so set the edges like that what i've also done is drip some of that assembly lube on top of that bearing there so that's got lots of grease uh, lots of gunk on it now uh assembly lube for when i slide that down okay right the underside of that is all lube now and the piston and it goes in like that yeah now what we do is okay so basically you put a or whatever size you want in there and that piston that piston just rests on there like that right, so you can just check your rings are right yeah they're right now when you clamp that up so now what we do is we let, let that off so it's really big and then we put that back on there obviously make sure you've got lots of oil and stuff inside there all right okay, so that's so on there that. and i've tightened that now don't when that starts clamping up don't start moving this around because you move your rings around so, so you think your ring is there but it might end up at the front there so you keep it like that right now we need to do that as tight as we can and just before it starts getting really tight make sure you've pushed it down here so it's level on that bar that that does it, it makes it nice and level okay so i'm going to now tighten that up really tight then we can take right. that out so that's in there now that's nice and flat around the bottom of the of your uh, uh, of your block okay so that's all flat we've made sure that, that that's totally nice and flat there yeah and then what we're going to do yeah, I just do a very gentle tap like that. Right, now what that's for, that is, what that's for is just to make sure, you so see you've got two, if you think about it, you've got like two sleeves there, right, and one could, what normally happens is the inner one might be a little bit further higher up than this one. So what will happen then, that's what happens when you start pushing your piston in and it suddenly stops, won't go any further because the this is not quite flat with the bottom. And so the spring, the, the, the ring can spring out a little bit and then it catches on here. So that's why you make sure that that is totally nice and flat. Yeah. Gently tap it with a, the end of a plastic hammer. Right. For, so for now, make sure that the, make sure the piston's lined up. Yeah. And then we can just gently tap it down. She's in. So you don't need any hard, uh, any hard and fast hitting, otherwise you'll you, you, you'll damage your rings because there's something wrong. You see what happens is, like I said, it's basically here. See, so look, if you look there, yeah, so you've got to make sure that's totally flat. That those all those little these layers are totally flat together. Okay. So that's what will happen when you when it's it's, it's either one reason it's not tight enough, or they're not quite that one the, the, one of them is they're not level. So once it gets to this level, the spring spring springs out and catches that okay so that's in there like that lock so that can push down make sure it's easy so there's you know there's no problem now we need to go underneath because you know the big end can now move a little bit and it might be hitting the top of the 
top of the, uh, the journal on the crankshaft. So we just need to maybe straighten that up and then someone else can just push the piston down. Yeah. And then uh, it'll sit on top of that. So I'm going to go underneath and my helper is just going to push that down when I ask him to. Okay. Right, so now we're going down with that. So what I'm going to do here, while I'm here, is I'm just going to put a load of uh, lube on Loads that. Loads of lube on there. Yeah. So I'm now going down underneath. All right, look, up under here, if you can see, it was a bit bright in it for you guys. You see there, look, there was, there's the one end. And there's the other. So make sure that comes down right and it's square. Right, Al, can you just push the piston down for me? Yeah, you see there, it's locating. Well, keep going. Yeah, look, see, that's all right, that's set. Right, so that's that's set now nicely on the top. See, take the shell and put that up there and I'll put in one bolt loosely, all right? Now I need two hands for that, so let me get on and do that loosely. Right, I've got that one up there loosely, just finger tight. So now I'll take the other bolt here. Now what I'm gonna do, is I put a little bit of Loctite on there. All right, now you can't get that in at the moment because you need to just move the crank a little bit, look like that, there. Yeah, so I'm just going to put a little bit of Loctite on that bolt and I'm going to put that in there and snip it up. That's in there uh, a little bit more than finger tight, but you know, now I can take that one undone, take that one out and put some Loctite on that and put that back in. Okay, it's now ready to torque. So I've got a torque wrench here, which is set for five, which is what the first one is. There. The next one. There, that's five. Then we move on to another torque of 15. Okay, so they're done to 15 now, and then the torque settings on this, and then it's uh, the, the uh, what do you call it, stretch bolt, so then it's uh, 130 degrees. Okay, so before I do that, just make sure, double make sure, yeah, look, I've got my markings there, and my markings on that one as well. So they should, they're all at the front there. So, okay, so now I'm going to talk, talk this one up, make sure you get the right one. It's easy as you get towards the end to, to get, make a mistake. So I'm just going to do these up now. So I'll do those up now. And then we're done. All right, so that's it. The four pistons are in. So now what we just do, just to double check, I've got on the crank here. Yeah, and then we can just see, see how it's looking on the boards there. It's taking it all down. Looking good. It's all nice and free, which, as it should be. So I'm just going to put that in the middle there, like that, so it's all about middle. All right, so now what I can do is find the locking pin on the crank, and uh, we can put that back in. So the crank's all set, ready to put the head on. Okay, but before we do that, I'm gonna actually put the, a new chain on the oil pump and do all that, so. Anyway, so this video is just basically a very quick video about how to put the pistons into the Mini N14. Um, but uh, yeah, hope this video has helped someone. If you like the channel, subscribe. We're always doing stuff with engines and fixing things. And just remember, if you get yourself in a situation, you can do 